Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest Patch Tuesday updates are starting to roll out for the month of September. And that's for both Windows 10 and 11. And for Windows 10, the update is KB5017308. And um, Microsoft made the update available on the 13th of September, which was late yesterday in my region. And um, the Patch Tuesday updates, also known as B-release updates, are automatic updates. So they will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And um, once the update has been installed and applied, um, Windows 10 version 21H2, the OS build, will now be bumped up to 19044.2006. Version 21H1, the OS build will be 19043.2006. And 20H2, the OS build will be 19042.2006. Now, um, the update will be listed under quality updates once installed. KB5017308. And the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out um, on the second Tuesday of every month are security updates that carry important security fixes uh, to any vulnerabilities in the Windows 10 and also the Windows 11 operating system. Now, just to um, make quick mention of the security fixes that have rolled out, um, there were 40 vulnerabilities for Windows 10 um, that were addressed. Um, 37 were important and three um, were critical. So although Microsoft doesn't mention any um, zero-day exploits or explo exploits in the wild or also known to as active um, vulnerabilities, critical is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is a very important security update. And the three critical vulnerabilities that have been patched and addressed and fixed are remote code execution vulnerabilities. So as an example, that means a hacker or an attacker or the bad guy, so to speak, can um, gain access to your system through a network or over the internet. So important to check that you have this update applied sooner than later to address 40 vulnerabilities, three of which are critical. Now also, um, if you uh, didn't install the update that rolled out near the end of last month for Windows 10, that's the optional bug fix C release update. And if we just head to other updates where it will be listed, which was KB5016688, which rolled out near the end of um, last month, August, now also known as a C-release update. Um, if you didn't install this update, um, all those improvements um, uh, that were part of this update and those bug fixes um, will also now um, be carried uh, over into this update, 5017308. Now, I did post a video on this. Um, which I'll leave a link to in the description if you'd like some more information. But just to do a very quick recap for the purposes of this video, um, 5016688 um, had new security and IT admin remote working features. It fixed issues with game installations due to a licensing issue. Um, it fixed a 0x1e error during shutdown and, and restarts for Windows 10. It fixed, um, had fixes for Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge and numerous other improvements. So if you didn't install this update, um, those improvements now and bug fixes will be carried over into this month's Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10. And um, for whatever reason, maybe you're having difficulty installing the update through Windows Update or you would just like to download and install the update manually, you can just head over to the Microsoft Update catalog um, where you can just enter the KB number and find your version of Windows 10 and download the update manually and install it manually. And I will leave a link to this page in the description. And if you don't know how to download and install an update manually, I've also posted on that previously a tutorial that will just guide you through that process. And I'll also leave a link in the description to that video. So that's it for this month, KB5017308, now available for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.